Hey everyone, it's Relic here. We are back playing some more Ark Survival Evolved here on Aberration. And it's only been a couple of days since we last played. And I want to get straight back onto the trail for metal because, yeah, we haven't got an awful lot from. Remember, we found a little node up on the ledge last time. I think we've uh, smelted it all up. So the total metal that we've got now is, where are we? 355 ingots. So we still haven't got enough for the rat saddle now i'm kind of thinking that we might put that aside anyway because we need to start getting involved with some of the higher tech items and yeah that's going to require some metal so we need a fabricator and we also want to get over to the blue zone that's going to require us to get a hazmat suit and if i just show you that requires hazmat suit that is going to require some of the uh, congealed gas balls. Now, luckily, I found one of the gas vents quite close to the base, which I'll show you in a minute. But yeah, we need some polymer as well. So yeah, we need a fabricator because a lot of this stuff, including the hazmat stuff itself, is made in the fabricator. And then for the fabricator itself, I believe we just need a, a bunch of metal. We need a bit of oil, which we haven't got yet. And the only, I think the only access that we're going to have to oil at the moment is through trilobites. But anyway, before we get into any of that, we uh, we had the famous S plus disappearing items issue hit us again. And this was directly after I'd finished recording for the last episode. And I'd, I'd come on to get a screenshot. And yeah, unfortunately, the last part of the episode where we went out and we killed a load of stuff, we lost loads and loads of items all the buildings and that but we found a backup but yeah a load of the leveling ups and stuff had disappeared so if there's any discrepancies between what level you saw stuff in the last episode and this episode that's why and um, we've also carried on with a bit more of the breeding program but yeah i don't seem to be getting any anything higher at base level than 161 now and i think to increase that we're gonna have to try and capture ourselves a higher level ravager and yeah, the other thing is, we've got some of the uh, ghillie armor, and you use the organic polymer that we got from the crabs to get that. And also, hopefully if you're still down here, we have found this guy. Now, it wasn't there at first. I had to go around and kill loads of stuff, just so that more stuff was spawning. And I didn't do that for this. I did it for trying to find uh, another decent level Ravager. We failed in that. But he was over on the other side of the lake, or just around the corner, where I'm going to show you where I found my gas vent in a, in a minute. Now, he's not a particularly high level, level 60, but it's the first one we've got. And I really didn't want to do a wild dino wipe. And let's just start pumping some, uh, some arrows into him if we can. Uh, yeah, so I really didn't want to start doing a wild dino wipe because... Obviously, there might be some stuff that we haven't seen yet that uh, I don't want to get rid of. But yeah, he will uh, he'll do for a, for a decent level time. And if we want to get trilobites anyway, I guess the, the best place for us to start looking is going to be around about in the lake. And there's a stream, obviously, just on the other side of the hill that we can potentially get some stuff from. So there we go. So he is down. I'm still surprised by how easy we, we managed to get stuff down in the game. So hopefully, I think fish is, is going to be... We'll take some fish, maybe some mutton. Uh, some prime meat, sorry, maybe some mutton. We haven't got any fish at the moment. But yeah, he's not a massively high level. So again, I'm not, I've not been so, so worried about... About getting stuff at maximum maximum level so put that in there we'll put the mutton in there and yeah he will take or she will take even whatever she takes so yeah the order of the day is going to be pretty much I'm gonna, now i'm going to get her tamed up we're going to go and see if we can get some oil first of all because that's the thing that i've seen the the least of and i think we've pretty much got everything else that we need to get let's just get the so go into the fabricator and let's learn that for a start off and where are we 
So cement in paste, that's fine. Crystal fine, metal fine, we got that. Spark powder, that's easy enough to do. And then we want a saddle for the spino. And yeah, Ooh, are we? I'm not sure, I think we're at that level. Let's just learn that really quickly. What do we need for that? We need silica pearls, which we've got, because there's a load down in the lake. Some hide, some fiber, and some cement in paste. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly nip off camera. I'm going to gather all those bits and pieces together. It's all pretty standard stuff. We're going to wait for this guy to tame up. And then, yeah, hopefully we can go and get some oil. Okay, so we are back. And we've got all the cement and paste that we need in there now for the saddle. So we can just drop that in there, drop this in here, and make ourselves a spino saddle. And, yeah, hopefully... This is going to work out. Hopefully this is going to work out okay. Obviously we can't go too far under the water because we haven't got uh, we haven't got any scuba gear yet. We need the fabricator to do that. There's a load more stuff. As I say, not a massive level, but it's kind of it's better than what we had. So let's have a quick look. Yeah, so turn in circle. Noah's Ark <laughs> has to be expected so we're probably best off just getting a few, a few levels on this for now and pretty cool so we've got some keratin there got some prime meat let's get some levels up straight away so melee is pretty is pretty low let's just have a quick look I can show you this gas vent while we're around here as well, but yeah, I really, really want to try and get some, uh, try and get some trailer bites. And I can't see anything under the water here, apart from, was that something over here? Or are they silica bells? There they are, so we should grab those really. Right, so. That. I don't think anything else but trailer bites is going to give us oil, so. Uh, that's another one. I uh, can't quite see whether you'll. It's a good vantage point actually being quite up in the air like that because you can get to see where this stuff is under the water. Yes, over there. But we'll, we'll just probably just ignore that for now. Probably stuck on something. Don't see too many of these uh, about this is where these are where the drops come from an aberration by the way in case you didn't know that but what are we gonna get from that I'll well take that stuff rather than not uh, let's just jump back on right so as I say trailer bites would be good and I did kill a load of, say I did kill a load of stuff so I'm kind of hoping that we can we can get some respawns going. So can we put that up? And there's another one there. And there's another one over here. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can see any more. Cool. I don't know where that gas fence gone now. Maybe it's a little bit further round. Let's jump back on. And we'll have a look. Yeah, there was no more. How many silica pearls did we get from that, by the way? 302 so yeah not too bad so yeah this gas vent is just round here and i'm hoping that's going to be something that we can make use of but we need a lot of metal in order to be able to extract the gas from it so if we just type in gas so we need this gas collector so we need 75 metal for that i think there's going to be stuff that we need metal for before that it says sometimes you can see it produces gas balls and uh, you can see them before. There we go, fine. You can see them on the ground. But yeah, we didn't see any that. There's a crab over there. It's like, yeah, stuff is definitely starting to spawn back in here now that we've uh, now that we've killed everything. Let's just have a quick look and see what level you are. Level 52. I'm not so fussed about getting involved with those yet because we can't tame them. We need the cannon before we can do any taming of those items. And 
Yeah, we just haven't got the metal for that yet. The rack down there. Yeah, so this is uh, this is kind of the area where I thought it would be best to, to have a look. And I can already see we've got some silica pearls down here. So let's just grab those up. And yeah, there we go. Uh, how far down here we go before we start getting into crab territory? Probably not so far. Yeah, we're actually we're okay around here, aren't we? Cool. Right, I am. I'm going to collect up all these silica pearls. I'm going to see if we can find some some trilobites. Okay, so we have been wandering around for a while, killing stuff. And yeah, I've not found any trilobites whatsoever yet. But when I head back up, I'm gonna head back up this stream. This was the stream at the at the bottom of the little stream that we were just looking at in the previous clip. So it was where the zip wires were in the natural zip line. And I've literally I've followed this down all the way to its end. And yeah, it's come to this waterfall, and then down here, I'm guessing this is the start of the blue area, or at least a part of it. So on the map, we are. Can we see the map? On the map, yeah. So we we look like we kind of almost got to the central point of the map, which I guess kind of makes sense. But yeah, there's some there's some lines across there, and I've also noticed there's some Titan bowers down here. But yeah, we've. Uh, I don't feel that we're quite ready to, to take that on yet. But I just thought I'd show you what how, kind of like progress that we've made, and we've also I've just noticed. On these, and I'm wondering if they are. I'm wondering if these are metal nodes down here. It looks, it looks very much like they might be. Let's just have a. That one wasn't. Is this metal? It was one of these had like a little blue line through it. This. Yes, it is metal. Ah, now that is handy to know so we haven't actually got to go right into the zone in order to be able to find this stuff which yeah I kind of thought that we would have to why is this why are you not moving anywhere because you are fully encumbered right let's just drop off a load of this stuff that we don't actually need because we can collect all of this again and we'll head back up here so yeah, good to know that that's about anyway. And yeah, there wasn't a gas node down here as well. So yeah, a little bit worrying anyway about the whole trilobite situation. And I have been walking up and down the river, as I say, just killing literally everything that's in my path. And these things are pretty good against crabs as well. So that is a massive, massive benefit. What is going on over there? Something's just hit me. What was that? Was that literally it? That was a piranha? That did that to me? Wow. Yeah, I've not had any trouble with the spinos, with pretty much anything, to be honest. And all the points that I've been getting, I've literally been putting them all into, into melee. So, yeah, this guy, as you can see, is now dealing with everything pretty much okay yeah a little bit disappointing that we haven't found we found a few otters by the way so found that we've killed a few otters accidentally when we've been walking up and down and i haven't seen them yet but yeah no trilobites so yeah we're gonna make our way back up again i'm gonna try i'm gonna try in the actual lake now that i don't feel so worried about crabs you can see how easily this guy deals with these and yeah, if we can we can try around the lake, I guess. And see if there's anything around there. So we finished up at the stream and I came back to the base and just outside the doors there was a level 80 doehead. So I've tamed that up. And now we can get rid of this other guy. And yeah, I'm guessing more stuff is spawning in now that I've started to uh, kill quite a lot of stuff. And yeah, it's been quite 
quite a useful endeavor. This guy is, uh, oh, this girl has tamed up no end. But yeah, I want to get down to, I want to get down to the lake and just have a look now. I'm really, really not worried about crabs and stuff anymore now. Especially sort of the higher level, but it seems even a, a mid-level spino, once it's tamed, it can pretty much deal with with anything that we need to anything that we need to deal with. Not really sure what that was. It didn't really tell me what uh, what creature that was. Is that what is that up there? Oh, we got some scorpions. I think I'll probably go and deal with those first. If we, can we actually get up there? We can. Good. Yeah, let's go and deal with these. And if we could move again, that would be absolutely fantastic. Why? What am I stuck on? Ah, there we go. I've no idea what that was, but we were stuck on something. Yeah. So let's uh, let's maybe get in here. Let's have a look around and just see what we can see. If we don't find a trilobite soon, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be pretty upset. I've got to be honest. Uh, yeah, I'm not so worried about picking them. Silica pearls are absolutely everywhere. There's another spino. What level are you? You are only a level 16, so I'm not too worried about you. I'm going to deal with you first. Uh, let's have another look around. Oh, it's one hit kill. Yeah, absolute nightmare trying to find any sort of oil or metal. Silica pearls, yeah, they are absolutely everywhere, so I don't think we're ever going to have to worry about those in this game. 60. Yeah, everything is uh, everything is getting dealt with in really short order now. I kind of wish in a way that we could... Uh, there's a crab there. I always like doing with stuff underwater, oh, just as easy. Yeah, I really, really wish that uh, we were at the point where we could get ourselves a scuba, some scuba gear, because that would definitely make life a little bit more, a little bit easier. I'm not really seeing anything there. There's another manta. And no trilobites as yet. Now, th what's this? We got down here. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. This is really, really beginning to to get quite worrying. Silica pearls for days. Absolutely no oil. So yeah, the lake was an absolute no go. I spent quite a bit of time looking around, and I came back down to the river again because I thought maybe stuff had respawned. And I've been looking around for about 20 minutes and I, I finally, finally found a couple. Now, I'm kind of hoping that we get the oil from doing it this way. Let's just have a quick look and make sure, actually. Do we get the oil? Yes, we do. Good. I don't know if this is the best way, but be a little bit careful because of the knockback that you get. So you only get nine oil per uh, time and you get some silica pearls now you know think i know that you can obviously you can tame anything pretty much on here i, I know an aberration i think you have to use the fishing net in order to tame these things back to not being able to find anything again just piranhas piranhas do seem to spawn more than absolutely anything else so I don't know what's up with that, but yes, yeah, so I don't know if we could if we could catch one, whether or not they produce oil over time in their inventories. Yeah, we need to make a fishing net in order to in order to do that. A manta down here. So I think that might have been the only two, but yeah, that's that's probably not so much of a bad thing. Let's just deal with you before we sort our levels out and stuff. Yeah, it's probably, it's probably not such a, a bad thing. So we've got, I think, enough for the bits and pieces that we want to make. I just want to drop everything that I don't need. We'll keep the black pearls. And 
so I don't think there's anything else particularly that we want to keep here. And while we're here, I'm also going to kill this other spider, and then I think I'll head back to the base. And yeah, you know, I can't even remember what it was that we were making now, to be honest. It's been so long. Is that one down there? I keep seeing stuff, and then I wonder whether or not it's a trailer bite. You really really lucky if you can actually see them under the water certainly on the spino because it's so high up but I didn't really want to come down here or anything else particularly given that you know that the crabs can the crabs seem to be able to pull you off of pretty much any of the small dinos or certainly they could on the ravagers yeah, more piranhas yeah they could on the ravagers and I'm guessing that they probably can off of raptors as well. Okay, so yeah, I finally made it back to the base and I've stuck all of the bits and pieces that I need for the cementing paste and the spark powder in here. So hopefully we can just grab those. The oil is already in the smithy. So let's drop that in there, drop that in there. And hopefully we can, yeah, we can put one of these together now. Good. So the only other thing is we are going to need some gas in order to power this. So let's just grab that out and I'm just going to put this against one of these walls at the back here. So I'm guessing anywhere we'll do at the moment. In fact, if we put it in the corner, pretty good place, I would say, about there. That look okay it's a bit far away from the wall actually let's uh let's pick that up and try again and all right so that's going through the wall out there or is that going to be the same place yeah it's a little bit closer it'll do okay so yeah next we need to make our uh, gas thingamajig so let's just double check what the so that's made in the smithy. We need cement in paste, crystal, metal ingots, and red gems. So let's have a look, see what we've got in here. In fact, that's easier, easier way. Let's just see what we're missing. So we're missing cement in paste and red gems. Now, the only place that you can get the the red gems that I've seen is just grab all of those. Is off of the rats. Um, we've been doing that pretty much. I haven't seen a red area is what I'm trying to say. So let's pop let's pop those in there. And how much cementing paste have we got in here now? We're gonna need just a touch more, right? So let's just make some more cementing paste. So we need another it's another 50 of that I would guess. Okay, so that is that done. Let's pop those over here. Let's get one of these things made. And just type in gas again, make one of them. Now I'm hoping that this thing doesn't have any durability because that has been a bit of a mission to, to get hold of that, particularly the red, obviously the red gems. And yeah, if you think this is all, this is all in aid of actually getting the uh, hazard suit and the actual hazard suit itself is going to require a bunch of red, of uh, blue gems, as well as like a sealed gas and all the other bits. Of, little bit of polymer there as well but yeah blue gems we have got pretty much none of I've just been concentrating on grabbing the red gems from the rats so yes we will need to uh to go and get a little bit more of that so I thought we didn't grab the gas collector out did we so but we did we did get it cool right let's go and let's go and pop that on this vent around the corner I'm going to jump back onto the Spino to do that it just seems to make a little bit more sense. Okay, so we are back round at the gas vent and just had to kill a couple of things just to make the area safe. And I'm kind of hoping that this is relatively easy. It was. Good, right, so now we can see what this is collecting. Gas collector. Oh, this collects red gems. What is it? No, it doesn't. And it looks like 
it has some sort of right there's a there's a gas but it looks like it has some sort of durability which yeah i was kind of hoping that it didn't but yeah fine whatever i'm sure as we get further in the game then yeah looking after stuff and whatever getting some of these resources is going to be a bit easier but for now we need to collect up a load of this gas and yeah then we will be able to start progressing start to get towards getting this hazard suit but it's going to take a fair amount of time as i say we need a fair amount of blue gems as well so i'm not going to do it in this episode i'm going to end this episode here and yeah it's been quite good fun the search for trilobites probably a little bit frustrating at times but yeah we got there in the end and yeah this is what it's all about making a bit of progress so yeah i hope you've enjoyed the episode and if you have remember to hit that like button always appreciated and until next time guys thanks ever so much for watching take care and i will see you in the next episode bye